Hi. Remembrance Day 2020 will be like none other. This year, there will not be any veterans parades, there will not, there will not be any bands or choirs, and most wreaths will be pre-laid, as most services will be pre-recorded and broadcast live around the world from various sites in Canada and in Europe. Today, I'm coming to you from the Canadian National Armed Forces Cemetery in Beechwood, Ottawa, where more than 3,000 veterans call this their final resting place. That includes more than 200 from the First World War and the Second World War. Part of the cemetery is managed by the Commonwealth War Graves Commission, which helps maintain these graves. Today I will be walking you through just several prominent pieces that are available to you here in Ottawa to be able to pay your final respects to those who came before us and paid the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. The central element of Canada's National Military Cemetery is now Section 103, which was first dedicated in 2001, where the central monument can be found. It was designed to be reminiscent of the Stones of Remembrance, which can be found throughout the Commonwealth War Graves in Europe, where there are more than 1,000 internments. This section is dedicated to all those who have served honorably in war or peacetime operations and wish to rest with their peers. And it was designed to become the final resting place of more than 12,000 veterans of the Canadian Armed Forces. It is also in Section 103, where many of the 157 Canadian forces who were killed in the war in Afghanistan chose to be laid to rest. I'm now standing in Section 27. Section 27 houses both veterans of the First and Second World War. It is also home to one of 25 crosses of sacrifice in Canada. Many more are in Europe. This cross symbolizes 40 or more war veterans who are buried here. The two other smaller sections of Beechwood, which are dedicated to Canada's war dead, are sections 19 and 29. These smaller plots are largely dedicated to veterans of the Canadian Expeditionary Force, many who died as a result of their injuries sustained in the First World War, or died following their service, and chose to be interned with their comrades. Those buried in section 19 specifically are buried with non-traditional flat grave markers, which are a unique sight in Beechwood. While the majority of veterans buried in Beechwood are part of the National Military Cemetery, there are those who opted to be buried with their families. These seemingly random plots can be identified throughout Beechwood by the standard Commonwealth War Graves headstone, which is instantly recognizable by its traditional white Portland stone and rounded tops. So while you are unable to attend a traditional Remembrance Day service this year, the act of remembrance is not limited to a single day, week, or time of year. These men and women gave up all of their days for us. So to all those who believe paying their respects to Canada's veterans and war dead requires a trip to the battlefields of Europe, think again. Right here in Ottawa is a place where you can commit to remembering. Please consider visiting and paying your respects to a veteran of Canada and supporting those who are still with us and the more than 3,000 currently deployed around the world.